Metab Bagh Metab Garden is one of the last gardens built by Gurkhans in Agra. This garden is located exactly north of the Taj Mahal and displays a very beautiful view of the Agra Fort and the Taj Mahal. In the four corners of this garden, there are huge towers made of sandstone. Some people say that Shah Jahan built this garden for his personal interests, through which he could watch the view of the Taj Mahal in a beautiful green space. On moonlit nights, the reflection of the image of the Taj Mahal in the waters of this park is an indescribable sight. Maybe that's why they named this garden Mehtab. Most people looking for a special souvenir photo of the Taj Mahal find this garden to be one of the best views. Fatapur Sikri Fatapur Sikri is another Gurkhan masterpiece in India's sightseeing places, which was the capital of this dynasty in the 6th century. But after some time they left this place because it was in the neighborhood of Rajputina and faced with scarcity of water. After the Gurkhanis moved to Agra, this part was a ghost town for a long time, until it became a tourist attraction in India. The translation of the name of this attraction means Victory City, which was built in honor of a holy person named Salim Chishti. Salim's tomb is also located in that area and is a very beautiful example of Gorkhani architecture. The monuments of this place are one of its main attractions. One of the most important parts of Fatapur Sikri is a large building called Bolan Darwazi. The height of this gate reaches about 54 meters from the land around it, and it is a memorial of the victory of Akbar Shah Gurkhani over Gujarat. Akbar's Tomb The tomb of Akbar Shah Gurkhani is also one of the architectural masterpieces of this dynasty and the best sightseeing places in India, which was built in the early 17th century. This king himself set to work to build his magnificent tomb, because according to Tartari customs, the tombs of people were built during their lifetime. But the construction of this building was finished by his son. The southern gate of this mausoleum is its biggest entrance, which, like the Taj Mahal, has four big minarets and is located in a space of 48 hectares. The architecture of this building is a combination of Rajput, Gurkhan, and Islamic styles. It should be noted that there are no traces of Akbar Shah in this place, because about 80 years after his burial, the enemies of his dynasty attacked this place, burned his remains, and damaged the building. Also, jewels, carpets, and many valuable objects were looted from this building. Tomb of Itamad ud Dawla. Tomb of Itamad ud Dawla is a beautiful jewel in the list of tourist attractions in India. This tomb was built by Noor Jahan, one of the most powerful women in this country. She was the queen of the fourth Gorkhani emperor, Jahangir. The queen's father was called Etamad al Dawla, and Noor Jahan also built this building for his parents. Unlike many Indian landmarks that were built with red sandstone at that time, this building was first built with white marble, which many consider to be the pioneer of Indian architecture for the construction of the Taj Mahal. Elephanta Caves This attraction is a series of caves located on Elephant Island south of Mumbai and is related to Shiva, Indian god. There are also some tombs in this cave, which date back to the 5th and 6th centuries. By looking at the sculptures of this place, you will get the most information about Buddhist philosophy and Hinduism. Throughout history, many statues and structures of this cave have been destroyed. One of the worst damages to the Elephant Cave was caused by the Portuguese colonialists who used the statues of the Elephant Cave as targets for shooting practice. This statue has three heads, and its height reaches 6 meters. In general, the size of these caves is 5D 600 meters, and its different parts include a main hall, two secondary halls, and several courtyards and tombs. Gateway of India
Mumbai's India Gate is also one of the most special sites in India, which was built in the middle of the first half of the last century. The reason for building this building was to honor King George V and his wife Mary. It took about four years to build the gate, which includes a long side with a height of 26 meters. The materials used in this place are yellow basalt and indestructible concrete. The main architecture used in the construction of this gate is Indian and Saracenic architecture, but there are also traces of Islamic architecture in it. Historically, India Gate is considered by many to be the tombstone of the British domination of India, as many important British colonists left India forever through this port. Sightseeing Places in Kashmir until this part of the list of places of interest in India in different cities, historical and urban places of interest have the highest percentage. But when we reach Kashmir, we see the most beautiful natural attractions of India. The nature of Kashmir is a combination of lakes, mountains, and greenery, and includes landscapes that are unmatched anywhere in the world. Gulmarg District Gulmarg Nature Reserve proves that India's attractions are diverse. If you are interested in snowy nature, you can watch one of the most beautiful snow spots in the world in India. Gulmarg area with an altitude of about 4,000 meters has the longest cable car line in the world. Also, the highest golf course was built in the first decade of the 20th century by the British. Tourists who travel to this part of India can enjoy skiing and mountain climbing. The winter scenery of this region is so pleasant that it has been called the snow paradise of Kashmir. Dal Lake Dal Lake in Kashmir is one of the most spectacular natural attractions in India, which, in addition to its touristic and recreational importance, also has economic and commercial importance. The length of the coastline of this lake is about 16 kilometers, which is full of Gorkhani gardens, boathouses, hotels, and entertainment centers. The best views of this lake can be seen from attractions such as Nishat Garden and Shalmir Garden. The best time to visit Dal Lake is during the summer season, because in July and August, spectacular flower views around the lake enchant tourists. In winter, the temperature in this area reaches 11 degrees Celsius and the lake freezes. The area of the slab is about 18 square kilometers. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminal, which was known as Victoria Terminal in the past, is one of the best sites in the west of India, which took about 10 years to build. Historical documents indicate that the formation of this building began in 1878. The area where this terminal is located reaches 2.8 E5 hectares. In the 19th and 20th centuries, Mumbai did not see such an expensive structure, as the construction of this terminal at that time cost 260,000 pounds sterling. Dudesagar Falls Dudesagar Falls, also known as the Sea of Lions, are the tallest waterfalls in India, with a height of 310 meters and a width of 30 meters. The source of this waterfall is the Mandovi River, the main river of Goa. You will reach this waterfall by driving 60 kilometers from Panjim City, but if you want to go through the forest, you have to walk about 12 kilometers. From June to September, parts of the road leading to this road are closed due to heavy rain. Basilica of Bomhazus Christianity is old in India, 
and the churches of this country are not only an important part of the sites of India, but their historical and architectural importance is unparalleled in all parts of the world. Bom Jesus Basilica is also one of the most famous Catholic churches in this country. This church is more than 400 years old, and unlike most of the tourist places in India which have Islamic, Iranian, Indian, and Gorkhan architecture, it was built in the Baroque style. The inside of this church has a high ceiling, and the walls and floor are made of marble. One of the most interesting parts of this church is where the body of St. Francis Xavier is kept. This body has been transferred from China to India for many years, and it is said that it has incorruptible properties like the bodies of some saints. This corpse is displayed to the public every ten years. Aguada Fort One of the most important symbols of historical cities in Goa and places of interest in India is Aguada Fort. This fort was built by the Portuguese and had many effects on the history of India and other countries. Portuguese colonists built Aguada to counter their Dutch rivals. The stepped wall of this fort made it an impregnable position. Among other important parts of Aguada, we can mention its four story lighthouse, the holy city of Varanasi. One of the largest and most beautiful religious places in India is the holy city of Varanasi, which is crossed by the beautiful river Ganges, which is one of the religious signs and symbols of India. It is not bad to know that this city dates back to 8 centuries BC and is currently one of the oldest cities in the world, where people still live, the holy city of Varanasi. One of the largest and most beautiful religious places in India is the holy city of Varanasi, which is crossed by the beautiful River Ganges, which is one of the religious signs and symbols of India. It is not bad to know that this city dates back to 8 centuries BC and is currently one of the oldest cities in the world where people still live in the Dharnak temple built in 1577 AD, which is an important pole of Sikh history and culture. This title alone is enough to include this temple in your itinerary. Harmandir Sahib, which is known as the Golden Temple, is the main attraction of this place, and with its attractive and beautiful golden decorations, it is eye-catching from any distance and looks good in your photos. This temple, which carries the title of the Holiest Sikh Temple, was built in a combination of Islamic and Hindu architectural styles, and the most beautiful marble stones of the time and impressive carvings were used in its construction and decorations. Let us also add that the large and golden dome of Harmandir Sahib represents the Latus flower, which is a symbol and sign of purity in the Sikh religion. The Golden City, Jaisalmer. Another one of the places to visit in India that should be on your travel list right now is the Golden City of Jaisalmer, which is known by this name because of the yellow materials used in its construction. Jaisalmer, which was once used as a strategic base, today is a city full of old and magnificent palaces, magnificent gates, and a huge fort known as Jaisalmer Fort. Red Fort New Delhi is a large red sandstone fort with an area of more than two square kilometers, which was built by Shah Jahan in 1648 as the seat of the Mughal Empire and is surrounded by a large moat. These are only a part of the attractions of this magnificent castle, which were written in the form of sentences. Imagine what a visit to this castle will bring you to Armagon. The pleasure of walking in a 17th century Indian covered market called Chattachak Chattachauk, where everything from gold and jewelry to silk clothes and attractive souvenirs is sold, is one of the other fascinating entertainments of visiting this fort in New Delhi, Mecca Mosque, Hyderabad. Traveling to India and visiting its sites without visiting one of the largest mosques in the world and the oldest mosques in India, if not impossible, is at least not fair. 
it is enough to say that the construction of this mosque took 80 years and it can accommodate more than 10,000 worshippers right now. It is said that the huge columns of this mosque, which are made of beautiful granite slabs, were carried to the mosque site by trains of cows, a train of more than 1,400 bulls. Amr Castle, Jaipur Amr Castle, or Amber Castle, a strong fort with almost 500 years old. This castle, which is built on top of a mountain with an almost steep slope, has a difficult way to climb and access it. This castle consists of a series of very beautiful palaces and courtyards. The Temple of Victory with colorful roofs, the Hall of Pleasure with vases, courtyards with decorated elephants and a temple dedicated to the goddess of war are just a few of the wonders of this fort. Humayun's Tomb As its name suggests, Humayun's tomb is the last abode of a Gorkhan king named Humayun. This mausoleum is the first cemetery garden in India, which was built in the second half of the 16th century. When the Gorkhani emperor died, his main wife and queen of the court named Bagabgum ordered the construction of this tomb, and they got help from Iranian architects for its design and foundation. Finally, they built this masterpiece on a land of 27 hectares. In its time, Humayun's tomb was one of the few buildings in which red sandstone was used in its construction. Unfortunately, the interior decoration of this tomb is not as beautiful as it was in the past, because in the past it had valuable carpets, weapons, and tools of Emperor Humayun, and many decorative objects, and most of these works were looted over the centuries. It is good to know that not only Humayun is buried in Humayun's tomb, but there are also 150 other graves, many of which have historical value. The combination of Iranian and Indian architectural styles in this tomb later became a model for the construction of the Taj Mahal.